Welcome everybody to the Future Space Collective, where we explore the world of products for imagination. Today we're checking out the Nano Leaf Elements. This is one of the more searched for products from Nano Leaf. It definitely has a different vibe than your typical flashy RGB. Perhaps a bit more sophisticated with the wooden grain texture. Nano Leaf always seems to have some nice, really nice product videos. So they're really selling this like wooden grain texture. Oh! I'm liking this video. This is a, this is a real captivating promo video. Like, let's just take a moment and pause on this frame here. I don't even know if this is this is 3D rendered or not, but gorgeous interior. The, the product really fits in with that warm hue, that warm glow. Cool. Yeah, these look pretty awesome. I like it a lot. Again, another cool thing with Nanoleaf, you know, they have integrations with a lot more of your smart home accessible apps and programs such as Apple HomeKit, Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, IFTT, and smart things. Wood look panels are designed to add elegance and organic feel to your home. Choose from a range of warm to cool lighting options to illuminate your space with a natural glow. Made to look beautiful on or off. This is smart if you're not somebody who's totally into the RGB thing. Set the mood. Well, that's what we're all about here at the Future Space Collective, really, is, is setting the mood. Find inspiration, wind down, create calm. Reacts to touch and music, okay. So again, you start with their Smarter Kit, which is the base kit and then you can expand it out with more panels if you want with the expansion pack. Let's go unbox these things and jump into it. Boom! And here it is now, the Nano Leaf Elements. So these are again, wood looking light up hexagon tiles. Expansion pack, smarter kit. How do you even get at this thing? Oh my god. Let's just take a moment actually and appreciate this box here. Very, very nice box that it comes in. Very sturdy box. It's very clear like what's coming at you, what's inside. Control, fixators, connectors here. A sticky pad and we have the adapter. Apply pressure to the center when you stick it on. Okay, so here are the tiles. They're a lot thinner than I thought they'd be, to be honest, but I guess that's all you need. Kind of like a nylon rope braided power cable. Very durable. Okay, so I assume... All right, so I think we just pop one of these kind of in like that. Yes, okay. So that's our main piece. All right, first power on, here we go. <sighs> Nothing happening. What's supposed to happen? It's supposed to light up. Maybe we need to connect that controller piece. That's what the little fixators look like here. And this is what the control piece looks like. Just pop it in. I don't think it matters where it goes. Boom, power. It's lighting up, it's doing something. I don't know, it doesn't seem to be turning on. I don't know, maybe you gotta connect to the app or something first. Oh, there we go, there we go. All right, just needed a second, just needed a second. Let's connect a few more tiles here just to get a, just to get a real quick first look. So you pop in your connector piece. Ah! Uh -huh. Computer, turn off key light. You can kind of see it more here now with the key light off. It actually has a very, very nice, satisfying glow to it. Ooh. Very cool. So you guys get the idea. You connect them in any configuration you want. Listen, first impressions, very nice looking glow to it. It does seem to be reacting to me touching it as well. That's, I don't know, that's pretty cool. I'm not sure what 
it's doing on me, but it's 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 got a it just it feels like it's alive. It's what it feels like. Let's put one here. Okay, so there you have it. I've connected a whole bunch of them. You can see they are they are touch reactive. It's really a, quite a neat piece. Cycle through the different modes here just by the physical uh, controller. Again, the app will be able to fine tune all this stuff. It's really fascinating. Great first impressions. Very interesting how it fades in and out of each other. I really like it. Alrighty, so first things first, Nanoleaf does provide you within their app a pattern building tool to help you figure out how you want to assemble your pattern, your shape, all the different variations. Nanoleaf calls this their layout assistant and I did find it to be pretty helpful in trying to figure out what I was gonna do. They also provide some inspiration, some design examples to really help you figure out how you wanna put your shape on the wall. But after you have your shape, what I would recommend is laying it out on a table or a flat surface to really see your shape and how it's gonna look in real life and keep playing around with it until you find something you like. This will also help you just get a sense of the size of it. Okay, so I've determined my shape now and I'm going to put it on top of my bed, on top of this headboard here. So in order to center it in the middle, I've taken a measurement of the pattern. It comes to about 57 inches in width. Now I'm gonna take a measurement of the headboard. So this headboard comes in at 85 inches. Therefore, I'm taking 85 inches, subtracting the length of the shape, 57 inches, which leaves us with 28 inches. Divide that by two. We're going to start the pattern 14 inches inward from the headboard. It should end 14 inches away from the other side of the headboard. What I also want to do is I want to center the top of the shape and the bottom of the shape in the middle of this wall. So the plan is to use the sticky backing on the back, stick the panel on, then actually I'm gonna pop the panel off. This piece will still be in place. Put a few nails, just extra secure it. And then just pop the panels back into place. Okay, so about right here, if all my calculations are correct, that is where we wanna stick our first panel. What I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to plug in and I'm gonna mount the controller. There it is. Boom, we got power. There we go. Alrighty, so here are the final shots of the install of my Nanoleaf Elements Now. Just like we saw in the product video, the aesthetic is super charming. I have to say, I really do like it and I feel like it really adds a nice warming vibe. That's a little bit different from what we usually see with the RGB colored lighting. Endless of ways to configure this. There's definitely a sense of excitement and appeal to this product. So I'm gonna give it an 18 out of 20 for wow factor and imagination. Moving into functionality, how well does this do the things it's intended to do? So overall, I found it to be pretty functional. The Nanoleaf app works, it works well. It could be a little bit better designed from the user interface, but nothing to complain about. You kind of just hold uh, the product to get into the settings. You can customize your own settings, make your own presets. So here's some of the different presets that are loaded that you can click on right away to see how they affect your Nanoleaf Elements pattern. This one's called Calming Waterfall. This one's called Ember. Moving on to Fireflies. Sahara Night. And here's one that I've customized myself and I've named it Organic Flow White. This one's called Splash, which is a music pattern that reacts to the music. Let's take a listen here. This is one of the music reactivity modes. I have my Alexa small, tiny little speaker playing beside the bed. The music reactivity mode, actually, it's pretty good. This is a preset. 
called Splash. This one's also music reactivity mode called Sunbeam. It's really easy to customize your own pattern. If you see a way you like the shapes flowing and wanna change up the colors, they make it really easy to sort of edit the presets within the app. The next thing I tried was connecting it to my Amazon Alexa. Computer, turn off elements. Computer, turn on elements. Computer, set elements to minimum brightness. Computer, set elements to max brightness. Computer, dim elements. Computer, dim elements. Computer, set elements to max brightness. It works, no complaints there, pretty happy. In terms of the brightness, the elements is bright enough to be able to be seen fine in daytime. It's very soft, very easy on the eyes. Any flicker that can be seen is only seen in the actual video and not seen in real life, which I kind of am a little disappointed on because I am a content creator and do like to have in the background. I could experiment with this more. You don't get any flicker if you're at max brightness. Otherwise, I found this to be quite functional, no issues. A lot of widespread compatibility to connect this to other smart home applications. Overall, I'm gonna give it an 18 out of 20 for functionality. Okay, moving on to build quality now. The plastics and materials were pretty high end. The wood grain finish is nice. It does sort of try to mimic real wood even though it is kind of still uh, plasticky in nature. The backing sticky tape I found worked like a charm. Everything's been staying up fine, no complaints there. All the pieces and parts, the connectors, the fixators, they're pretty strong, don't seem like they're gonna break. Overall, I think it's pretty well built. I'm gonna give it a 17 out of 20 for build quality. All right, moving into practicality and usability. I would say it's very practical item to own, use, and or display. Stick it up once, automate it from within the app, easy to turn on with voice control, easy enough to turn on through the app. They even have the physical controller to turn it on and off. So you can really just set it and forget it kind of thing and have it add to your background decor and overall mood and ambiance of your space. Ton of smart home integrations, as I mentioned earlier. Overall, pretty well done, pretty well executed. I'm gonna score it an 18 out of 20 for practicality. Moving into our last category now, value for money. There are many options out there. The Nanoleaf products do fall a little bit into that higher tier of what is out there, but they are very well-made products. And there does seem to be a lot that goes into the marketing, the unboxing experience, the overall look and aesthetic of the brand and of the product. I don't think they're crazy overpriced, but they certainly are not a budget option either. They kind of fall in the middle tier of what you would find for wall panels. I'm gonna score it a 15 out of 20 on value for money. Bringing us to a total score of 86 out of 100. That's what the Nano Leaf Elements will get. If you are looking for an alternative wall lighting product, check out the Govi Glide. This is one of my favorite wall lighting products, which has definitely a futuristic aesthetic. This is the Future Space Collective, where we explore the world of products for imagination. Please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. All helps to support the channel. Drop a comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.